You have already seen and heard so much about the World War II. And no, I'm not talking about the movies. Today, we want to reveal some interesting and shocking facts that have been kept secret from the world. Why was Robert J. Oppenheimer chosen to make the first nuclear bomb? And why did Hitler commit suicide in his Berlin bunker? Was it because of his enemies, the Soviets, or because of his sins? In this video, we will be unveiling the truth of World War II. In the shadows of World War II, Oppenheimer's brilliance birthed atomic monsters, Little Boy and Fat Man. Trinity's thunder affirmed mankind's mastery. Then came blinding light. Hiroshima and Nagasaki obliterated. Japan crumbled. Science raw power reshaped destiny. Ethical debates followed, but the die was cast. The world shivered as the nuclear dance began. From devastation, caution emerged. The NPT, a fragile shield. Behold the Manhattan Project, where brilliance met horror. Choices changed history, and humanity glimpsed its potential for catalyst. On December 7, 1941, Following the Japanese bombing of Pearl Harbor, the United States declared war on Japan. Three days later, after Germany and Italy declared war on it, the United States became fully engaged in the Second World War. By early 1941, Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria had joined the Axis. German troops overran Yugoslavia and Greece that April. Hitler's conquest of Balkans was a precursor for his real objective, an invasion of the Soviet Union, whose vast territory would give the German master race the Liebensohn it needed. The other half of Hitler's strategy was the extermination of the Jews from throughout German-occupied Europe. Plans for the final solution were introduced around the time of the Soviet offense. And over the next three years, more than four million Jews would perish in the death camps established in the occupied Poland. On June 22, 1941, Hitler ordered the invasion of Soviet Union codenamed Operation Barbarossa. Though Soviet tanks and aircrafts greatly outnumbered the Germans, Russian aviation technology was largely obsolete and the impact of the surprise invasion helped Germans get within 200 miles of Moscow by mid-July. Arguments between Hitler and his commanders delayed the next German advance until October, when it was stalled by a Soviet counteroffense and the onset of a harsh winter weather. In North Africa, British and American forces had defeated the Italians and Germans by 1943. An Allied invasion of Sicily and Italy followed and Mussolini's government fell in July 1943, though Allied fighting against the Germans in Italy would continue until 1945. On the Eastern Front, a Soviet counter-offense launched in November 1942 ended the bloody battle of Stalingrad, which had seen some of the fiercest combat of World War II. The approach of winter, along with dwindling food and medical supplies, spelled the end of German troops there, and the last of them surrendered on January 31, 1943. On June 6, 1944, 
celebrated as D-Day. The Allies began a massive invasion of Europe, landing 156,000 British, Canadian and American soldiers on the beach of Normandy, France. In response, Hitler poured all the remaining strength of his army into Western Europe, ensuring Germany's defeat in the East. Soviet troops soon advanced into Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary and Romania. While Hitler gathered his forces to drive the Americans and British back from Germany in the Battle of Bulge, which lasted December 1944 to January 1945, the last major German offense of the war. An intense aerial bombardment in February 1945 preceded the Allied land invasion of Germany and by the time Germany formally surrendered on May 8, Soviet forces had occupied much of the country. Hitler was already dead, having died by a suicide in April 30th in his Berlin bunker. With Britain facing Germany in Europe, the United States was the only nation capable of combating Japanese aggression, which by late 1941 included an expansion of its ongoing war with China and the seizure of European colonial holdings in the Far East. On December 7, 1941, 360 Japanese aircraft attacked the major U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, taking the Americans completely by surprise and claiming the lives of more than 2,300 troops. The attack on Pearl Harbor severed to unify American public opinion in favor of entering World War II and on December 8, Congress declared war on Japan with only one dissenting vote. Germany and the other Axis powers promptly declared war on the United States. After a long string of Japanese victories, the US Pacific Fleet won the Battle of Midway 1942, which proved to be a turning point in the war. On Guadalcanal, one of the southern Solomon Islands, the Allies also had success against Japanese forces in a series of battles from August 1942 to February 1943, helping turn the tide further in the Pacific. In mid-1943, Allied naval forces began an aggression counterattack against Japan involving a series of amphibious assaults on key Japanese-held islands in the Pacific. This island-hopping strategy proved successful and Allied forces moved closer to their ultimate goal of invading the mainland Japan. US involvement in the Second World War was quickly followed by a massive mobilization effort with millions of men and women serving overseas in the nation's armed forces, most of those who remained at home dedicated themselves to supporting the war effort in whatever means was available to them. Women who had worked as homemakers or had held jobs outside military-related industries took jobs in aircraft manufacturing plants, munition plants, military uniform production factories, and so on. As the need for steel and other resources increased, American citizens participated in rationing programs as well as recycling and scrap metal drives. Americans also supported the war effort with their hard-earned dollars by purchasing Liberty Bonds. Sold by the US government, the bonds raised money for the war and helped the bond purchases feel they were doing their part for the war effort. The US entry in the war helped to get the nation's economy back on its feet following the depression. Although just 10 years earlier, jobs were very difficult to come by. There were now jobs for nearly everyone who wanted one. With the creation 
of 17 million new jobs during the war, workers were afforded the opportunity to pay off old debts as well as to begin saving some of their earnings. Not all Americans remaining at home gained favorably from the war. Fearing that Japan might invade the west coast of the United States, the government rounded up thousands of Japanese Americans who lived on the west coast and confined them to internment camps. But 1948, when the internment program ended, tens of thousands of Japanese had suffered as internees. In addition, German Americans, Italian Americans, Hungarians, Romanians, and Bulgarians were also interned. On May 8, 1945, Germany surrendered. After the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan surrendered on September 2, 1945, and the Second World War came to an end. War II, the war cost the lives of more than 330,000 American soldiers. Many more were permanently injured or maimed. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more interesting videos like this. Your support is greatly appreciated.